Matthew chapter 24, verse 7. For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shai, Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shai, Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shai. Call Halal La Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That's Hebrew. Interpret Bless Yahweh, Bless Yahweh Shai. All praises to the Father Yahweh in the name of the Son Yahweh Shai. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hope for elect, scattered abroad, teaching his word and sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, so you see it. It's a quick article from CNN. And um, this morning, uh, you know, there was, you know, phone calls, you know, came to my attention this morning. Phone calls with me, you know, a couple of people I know upset because they got family in Puerto Rico. And, you know, they can't get in touch with them. They don't know whether they family member is okay because there's an outage. You know, again, in Puerto Rico, man. And, um, you know, this is the most high, man. This is a 6.4 earth, uh, earthquake. So, you know, the title, as you can see, it says a 6.4 magnitude earthquake hits Puerto Rico a day after another quake rocked the island. You know, and who does these earthquakes? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. This is the Lord's work, you know. It's the most high that does everything man and um it says a 6.4 magnitude earthquake a 6.4 magnitude earthquake and several other strong turmoils uh turmoils rocked the puerto rico rocked puerto rico tuesday morning just one day after a 5.8 magnitude quake shook the island, according to the U.S. Geological Survey. You know, it says power outage and damage to homes and buildings were reported near the island's southern coast, though though the extent wasn't immediately clear. All right, you know, and this is just uh, news, man. All right, that's how you know the Lord is not playing, man. You know, we they shit. As Paul said, this is high times to wake up out of sleep, you know, and um, all these things that are happening, you know, drastically in the earth is outside of this place of America, you know, but you got to know that this thing is going to actually hit hard, you know, worse here in Babylon. OK, here in America, when this when the Lord gets to this place to destroy this place, you know, because uh, people are not really feeling um, they're not really feeling the power that's going on, the, 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 the woes that's going on in the earth. You know, Jake is foolish, man. They don't think nothing affects them, you know? And that's why I see why the Lord is ultimately going to destroy this place, you know? Let me just, uh, get back to the scripture. Matthew 24, 7, I read again, For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. And here I am reading the scripture again. And I read this scripture yesterday in the lesson. <laughs> you know, it's like the A. Hey, matter of fact, let me, let me get Habakkuk real quick because because uh, this is truly how about you, man. All we do as men of the Lord is wait for the Lord to speak unto us, man. You know, tell us what we need to hear. Okay. This is Habakkuk chapter 2 and 1. I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower. And will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am reproved. So we're watching to see what the Lord is doing. And we know that the Lord, um, you know, did this earthquake, you know, and people out there in Puerto Rico are feeling it, man. It says, and the Lord answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that read of it. So we're just making it plain and simple, man. You know, we probably sound like a broken record, but hey, this is the Lord's song. This is the Lord's movie. You know, Jake, Jake B. Oh, oh, here we go. The end of the world because of earthquake. Yeah. Yeah, nigga. It is the end of the world. You know, Jake, take Jake, take everything uh, for joke. You know, it says verse three for the vision is yet for an appointed time. But at the end, it shall speak and not lie, though it tarry. 
wait for it because it will surely come. It will not tarry. And, and that's the prophecies, man. One thing, everything has to happen, man. Whether it happened three, four times, the Lord, the Lord is going to make sure that every bit of, of uh, prophecy that he spoke of come to pass, you know? So it's going to continue to be earthquakes. And I'm pretty sure this is not the last one. And I'm pretty sure this is not the last big one. I'm pretty sure there's plenty, many more earthquakes to come on certain lands, you know, to uh to uh to bring forth the uh the uh calamity the trouble man you know to shake you up most high said let me get that let me get uh Amos nine and eight all right it says um it says behold the eyes of the Lord are upon the sinful kingdom and his eyes are upon this world, man. It's upon this place, Babylon. And you better know that it's upon every every piece of land and person in this world. You know? And I would destroy it from off the face of the earth. Alright? This this polluted uh uh land, what you call America, is gonna be destroyed, man. You know? Because this place is, you know, brought a lot of uh let me say the other countries drunk up the wine of Babylon, man. You know, I remember talking to uh, one, 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 one dude who came by the camp, and um, he was just telling us how Puerto Rico, he was an older cat, he was telling us how in Puerto Rico that he said it's no different here. He said they ain't used to be like that. He's like the nigga, he's talking about the music, how they a bunch of niggas. But what he was saying, like, in Puerto Rico, you know, these guys, they, 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 have the, they don't have no morals no more. It's the same shit. They're a bunch of niggas too. You know? He was breaking it down. I can't remember every word, he's, everything he was talking about. But I understood what he meant. You know? That's how we know them, the Northern Kingdom, the uh, the Ephraimites, and, I mean, as well, the so called Puerto Ricans are Israelites, man. You know? He was saying how the women out there are not the same. The men, they, they are on drugs. They listening to that trap music. They got their own trap music, man. So, you know, there it is. Those are the curses, man. It says, um, 9 and 8, it says, uh, he says, And I will destroy it from off the face of the earth, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, saith the Lord. So, those of the hopeful elect that believe in the Lord, we have hope, man. That the Lord is not going to be dead and all through it and done away with us, man. Not with all of us, you know. It's two-thirds. Two-thirds he's done and away with. You know, let me get that. I've been pulling that a lot, two thirds, but I haven't been pulling it. Zechariah three and eight. It says, um, oh, Zephaniah three and eight. This is, um, uh, wait a minute. Oh, hold on. Zechariah thirteen and eight. Right. This is Zechariah chapter 13, verse 8. It says, And it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith the Lord, Yahweh, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. And that's talking about the Israelites. Okay? On the, on the whole, the whole 12 tribes. All right? He said, Two thirds, um, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, meaning two thirds are going to be destroyed. All right, those are the ones the Lord kept sleep. Those are the ones, you know, that that what the scripture say, the third and fourth generation that hate the Lord. It says, but the third part shall be left therein, meaning the one third, the hundred and forty-four thousand men, you know, and and in, and in that governing body, you're gonna have women, children, you know, whoever it is, a part of those men who the Lord is going to deliver, which is called the elect. It says, uh. Come on, what we doing? What we doing? Go on. All right. This is verse 9. And I will bring the third part through the fire. Okay? And will refine them mm -hmm. as silver is refined. So meaning the elect, the third part, is going to have to go through the troubles, man. They're going to have to walk through that narrow gate. Okay? That narrow path. You know, when the scriptures say fire on the right, waters on the left. No man could get, uh, roughly paraphrasing, 
one no man one man can get through at a time roughly paraphrasing you know we have to go through that straight gate you know so we're going to be going through the fire and you know we're going through the fire now you know this scripture is twofold we're going through the fire now man by catching hell for the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai you know we're being demonized now man the brothers on the front line out there teaching the truth you know now you know Esau want to persecute he want to demonize us and kill us man because all we doing is teaching the truth all right and also you know when the Lord delivered the elect it's going to be through the fire you know simultaneously when this place when them nuclear missiles being shot off and they coming toward this place called America which is known as Babylon the Great or spiritually Sodom and Gomorrah the Lord said he's going to destroy the whole land we just read his eyes is upon the sinful kingdom and he would destroy it off the face of the earth so when this place is being um was about to be destroyed simultaneously the Lord is going to take up the elect and that's passing and that's passing through the fire man you know so the scripture is twofold so let me continue I will bring the third part through the fire and I will refine them as silver is refined and I will try them as gold is tried you know when you try gold you want to see if it's real you know you want to see if it's, it's if it you know you want to put it in its purest form you know, to have the best quality of it, man. To make it to make it rich. You know, the elect is being refined to be rich. You know, it says, um, it says, and I will try them as gold is tried, they shall call on my name, and I will hear them, I will say, It is my people, and they shall say, The Lord is my power, my God. You see? So when the elect call on the Lord, the Lord is gonna answer. You know, the Lord, the scriptures tell you in 2 Peter's, uh, the Lord, his His uh, ears are open unto their prayers, you know? So, you know, hey, man, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai is at work. You know, there's nothing but wickedness going on in the earth, you know? You know, this it seems like everything is happening outside of this place, America, but soon it's going to be right here at your front door, man. And it's going to be worse here than it is everywhere else, man. Because this place is the place where the Lord said he's going to make it a desolation, man. So, all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shah. And for the brothers who are in the, in the faith, continue to keep putting those prayers and curses up, you know, and asking for mercy, man. You know? So, with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shah, Bashem, Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.